I'm Pastor George Borkhardt, and this is another Higher Things video short. Bible study Thursday takes on Galatians 5.24. Those who walk, those who are of Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Hey, if you love our videos, if you're learning about your faith from places like a Lutheran pastor and his Jack Russell Terrier named Thor, if you're learning from us, then like and subscribe our videos today. You can also go to support.higherthings.org and give today. A tax-deductible gift keeps us, a youth organization, all about passing the faith to the next generation and resourcing parents, pastors, and congregations, and lay leaders in passing that faith to the next generation. Keeps us going. Bible study Thursday takes us to Galatians 5, 24 and following. We'll finish the chapter. Those who are of Christ have crucified the flesh with all its feelings and interests and cravings and lust. If we seek the Spirit, we ought to follow the Spirit. Let us not become boastful or conceited, provoking one another, challenging one another, envying one another. And that's the end of the chapter. Law and gospel has occurred throughout this whole book. The movement between works and faith, between law and gospel, between works of the flesh, things that throw you into hell, and works of the Spirit. I'm sorry, fruit singular of the Spirit. There's only condemnation in the works that we do. Against the Spirit, there is no law. And so he says, those who belong to the Spirit, gospel, faith alone, they crucify, they're baptized, they crucify their, their sinful flesh with all its desires. I have been crucified with Christ, he says earlier, and I no longer live, but he lives in me. And the life that I live, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. And so to be in the faith, it means to die to yourself, to die to the way things are, to, 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 to leave behind your lust and your desire and your, and, your, and your living for yourself and your selfishness, and to live as one who has been forgiven. If we live in the Spirit, we should also follow the Spirit. And the Spirit there is connected to the Lord's words. Fruit of Spirit. Fruit of His words. To say that you're in the Spirit, but to live in your sins is contradictory. But I sin every day. We'll get to that. And so he says, look, leave behind your sins. Leave them in the waters of your baptism. Leave them in the font. You have been raised to new life, to walk in the newness of life, which comes from your baptism, which flows from Calvary and Easter, from Good Friday, from his death for you. His life is now your life. His words are now your words. Spirit words, giving spirit fruit, spirit life. So leave behind this conceitedness, this provoking one another, this envy in one another. That's the way you used to be. You're not that way anymore. But yet you are. But yet you're not. But yet you do. But that's not you. That's sin in you. This fight going on, Romans 6 and 7, between the you that's baptized and the you that wants to remain in your sins. Between the you that's saved by grace alone and the you that wants to be justified by the works. And so you crucify you. And all your sinful desires every day in the waters of your baptism, that a new you could rise and live before God in righteousness and purity forever. You are saved solely by what Jesus did for you. You are saved by the grace of God. You are rescued from your sins, from death, from the power of the devil, by the holy, precious life of Christ washed on you fed into you, spirited into you, and you will live forever. And that live forever is not a later date, it's a right now thing. As you live, forgiven for others. 
crucifying you so that you might live for others. Dying to yourself and all the law and the works of the flesh so that you might live in the Spirit, forgiven, fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, self-control, goodness, faith, soberness. Against such things there is no law. A life dying to live. To live to God and to live for others. A life forgiven, a life free, free to love. And so away with the way we used to be or are or currently want to be to become the person that he know because you are the person for whom he died. You are forgiven. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.